The Key and Die is a film, obviously, that's inspired by the legendary um, and uh, wondrous Elvis Presley. Um, and like a lot of people from Wales, I grew up listening to Elvis from an early age. And when I saw the idea and the story behind The King and Die, I was not only inspired by Elvis's uh, legacy, but by what happens in terms of the people who are involved in the Elvis scene there and how they are all consumed by um, a competitive um, spirit that seems to be both good and bad and kind of echoes uh, Elvis's real life experience in his later years. There's nowhere quite like Porth Call and what's happening with his um, timeless legacy. Um, you cannot duplicate that anywhere else in the world. In Vegas, it's cliches. It's uh, Elvis has left the building, um, wedding chapels. and all, we, We've seen all the cliches um, represented in, in terms of the, uh, the kitsch aspect of Elvis's later career, and and that is that's been done ad nauseum. His ideas often come to you at random moments when you're away from all this stuff from the editing coalface. And I was just lying in bed one morning, and um, I was thinking, yeah, the king, the king, the king of rock and roll, the king of this, the king that, and the other, and uh, Valley of the Kings, and I was just going through stuff in my head, and then. Yeah, I thought, there was that Your Brenner film, The King and I. Nah, I know what we need to say. We need to say The King and Die. That's the one.